Fergus Ewing wins MSP of the year. If ever there was a slap in the face to useless Yusuf, this is it, isn't it? He's been trying to tame Fergus Ewing for quite a while, with little success of course, because Ewing has far more standing within the party than Hamza Yusuf could ever have, and now he's been given the award of MSP of the year. He of course voted to sack Lorna Slater, he's also questioned many SNP failures such as not duelling the A9. And Tory MSP, Maurice Golden, actually got an award for the second year in a row for questioning green policies that are having no effect on the climate, but are having a massive effect on people's lives. Now, I had to find out who this panel was, and I managed to find out some of the people that are on this panel. So you've got Mandy Rose, who chaired it, and she is the managing director of Holyrood publisher, Holyrood Communications. Then there is a range of journalists, commentators and different politicians who also get a say as well, not to mention the editor of the Times and the Sunday Times and the well-respected Professor John Curtis, who is of course at Strathclyde University. And guess who else was on it? Kate Forbes, somebody else who favours Ewing's position and is certainly a key rebel alongside him. Amazingly, and I do mean amazingly, the people on this panel speak far more for the people of the UK, and more specifically Scotland, the wider public that is, than any of those MSPs inside Holyrood or any of the politicians inside Westminster or the Welsh Senate. And it makes useless Yusuf and the Greens look frankly ridiculous because people who are rebelling against them are now winning awards while people who stand by them and simply toe the party line are losing out massively. How embarrassing for them.